These are the names we give notes in music. Julie Andrews might have called these La, Ti, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, but that's another story. However, if a German speaker were to play these notes, they would sound like this. They call the note B what we would call B flat in English. So what if a German speaking person wants to talk about our note B natural? Well, they call it H. So they would imagine it like this. The reasons behind this are seriously complicated and go back to ancient Greek systems of writing music. So we won't go into that now. But one very lucky quirk of this system is that one of the world's favourite composers, Johann Sebastian Bach, was able to write his own name in music. And it sounds like this. Cool, isn't it? Here's an example of Bach leaving us an Easter egg in his St. John Passion. That's really clever because it's a piece for Easter. It's in the final chorale. And at the words, Erhöre mich, which translators listen to me, Bach has written H-C-A-B. Now, Bach being Bach, he wouldn't be so obvious as just to write his name forwards. He'd be very clever and write it backwards. But Bach wasn't the only person to use his name in music. Other composers who were so impressed by the music of the great master decided that they would honour him by writing his name in their music. Perhaps one of the earliest examples is by the fantastic Czech composer Drusetsky, who in the slow movement of one of his oboe quartets uses the Bach motif and plays around with it cleverly, turning it backwards and upside down, just as Bach did in the John Passion. Later composers such as Arvo Pärt Franz Liszt Robert Schumann and Arnold Schoenberg also included the name of Bach in some of their compositions in honour of the great man. <laughs>